Hi, and I'll apologise now because my neighbours have got building work going on. So if you hear lots of clattering, that's what it is. Right, the Booker shortlist. Glory, I've just finished this one by uh, Navaya Letbulawayo. And that means I've only got a William off the shortlist left to read. And because I still want to finish the long list, I've got to trust to read as well. So once I've read those two, I'll have completed the short list and the long list. Wahey! Well, right, so this one. It left me a little bit disappointed, actually. It's a fictional... It's set in a fictional place called Jadada. And it's a satire about the Robert Mugabe regime when um, he was overthrown by a coup. So that, that is what this is a satire about. Um, the father of the nation in Jadada is an old horse and he's been the leader for four decades. Every character in here is an animal. So he's a horse. He's married to a donkey who is younger than him, who has ideas about becoming the ruler herself as her husband is getting so old. And she makes all these attacks on the vice president, Tuvi, who's also a horse. And it causes for him to be suspended, to be got rid of, which leads to the coup and him coming back as the president. You have the military defenders, who are a group of brutal dogs, and then you've got other characters as well. The regime change doesn't bring any benefits for the population. You've still got poverty. You've got electricity cuts, there's no water. They are living in a time of hardship while Tuvi gets richer and richer and richer because of all these plans and schemes that he's got. For me, the there are a couple of really powerful sections in here and it was to do with Destiny, a goat, who returns after a 10-year self-imposed exile and she learns about her mother's past really really beautiful um, powerful and it's referencing the Guga Handi book genocide so her mother is talking about her experiences during that period and then you have Destiny's own story arc which, again, I found incredibly powerful. The rest of the book, I I don't know. It, it left me sort of disappointed. There's comparisons to George Orwell's Animal Farm, and I think the use of animals in Animal Farm was more effective because in Animal Farm, the pigs gradually take on human characteristics. It's this change from four legs to two legs. And I found that more effective than this because here the animals are almost, I was going to say almost human. They use social media, they take showers, they've got Twitter accounts, Facebook accounts. They're humans in animal form, if if does that make sense? I, I I know what I'm trying to say. So it didn't really work for me for them being animals rather than humans. And in the beginning, I found the constant repetitions. I, I found them really effective because there are a lot and lot of repetitions in here the same words and phrases come again and again and again. But it is a, a 400 page book, but you know, so once I got to about halfway, 
that I found the repetitions jarring, the constant repetitions that were, were going on. Um, there are some powerful sections in here, but it was a book that it didn't really work for me. So that is Glory. Um, shortlisted for the Booker Prize, so we'll see what happens next month. And I've now just got O. William to read to finish off the shortlist. And then I will come back and let you know who I think should win. So happy reading. Take care. Bye.